the human brain, we know it contains more than 100 billion neurons. And while there are many, many different kinds of these neurons, we know that they have certain features in common. As shown here, we can see that neurons have a cell body and dendrites. The dendrites are often covered with small processes called dendritic spines. Uh, and then there's a single axon that allows the neuron to communicate with another cell. So as this neuron is excited or inhibited uh, through these inputs, uh, there are postsynaptic potentials which are set up in the cell, and there's a summation of the excitatory and inhibitory postsynaptic potentials. This depolarization ultimately impinges on a very specialized region of the cell known as the axon initial segment, which is rich in voltage-gated sodium channels. Importantly, axons are coated with a special uh, material, a fatty substance referred to as myelin, which is made by oligodendroglia. The myelin is arranged in segments which uh, have gaps between them. These so-called gaps are known as the nodes of ron -VA. The nodes of ron -VA, much like the initial segment of the axon, are regions of the neuron which are rich in voltage-gated sodium channels. In the movie that you're about to see, the myelin will be depicted by performers lying along the edge of the axon. As the um, depolarizing current of the action potential spreads down the axon from the initial segment, it opens up voltage-gated sodium channels and allows the sodium to flow into the axon, as seen here. This is depicted in the film by performers throwing salt into the axon. Meanwhile, as this process moves forward, uh, the upstream sodium channels begin to deactivate, whereas potassium channels become active and potassium uh, exits the axon at that point. Uh, this is seen in the film as performers throwing bananas out of the axon. Eventually, the action potential that we've been talking about invades the axon terminal. Here, once again, the depolarization causes an opening of the voltage-sensitive calcium channels. Calcium rushes into the, into the terminal and through a very elaborate series of events, causes the fusion of many of the synaptic vesicles with the axon terminal. This releases neurotransmitter, which then travels across the cleft and binds to receptors on the postsynaptic neuron. There are, of course, conditions in which this elegant process is disrupted. Uh, one example, uh, which is very dramatically illustrated in the film, is demyelination. Uh, here, in certain autoimmune diseases, our body's immune system actually attacks components of the myelinated sheath, either the myelin or the oligodendroglia, and destroys it. In this case, uh, the action potential progresses down the axon, but because of the lack of myelin and the lack of the internodes, it is dramatically slowed down, in some cases blocked, by the damage to the myelin. What you're about to see in this rare, probably never before attempted documentary film is a dramatic human reenactment of the action potential in action and indeed in failure as well in a demyelinating disease.
Dude, this isn't Schwanz. These are fucking oligodendrocytes. Even... No.